Hey guys, it's Xenon Customs here and I am back with another speed build. So this one is um, again based on a picture. Somebody posted a picture on Facebook of this really really beautiful um, kind of gothic Victorian style mansion and you know I figured let's give this a try. It's something a little bit different from what I usually do. Um, because I do mostly build modern builds and I figured, you know, let's just give this a try and see what I can make of this because it's just an amazing building and I would love to have this in my game. Um, so here I am just trying to go uh, to kind of recreate the picture. So we only had a picture from the front of the build and yeah, this is basically what it, the like the, the basic Ugh, words. Um, this is basically what it looked like. So I'm just trying to recreate this, and you'll see that I struggle a little bit with some of the things because, of course, you know the game has its limitations, and I don't know. I love the game for the limitations that it has because it makes you do new creative things, and at the same time, I absolutely hate it. Um, for example, we have these. Um, Octagonal pieces right here that I know wanted to put a roof on and then there's no octagonal roofs in this game And I just it's one of those things. It's so simple It's such a well, it's not simple I suppose but it's such a simple thing and we've had it in The Sims 3 and I think even maybe in The Sims 2 I'm not sure about that one, but and now we don't have octagonal roofs Which is ridiculous because if you look at the game like if you have this I don't know, screen where you have the walls and random rooms. You have an octagonal shaped, shaped room, so why don't we have an octagonal shaped room? <laughs> it's really, really awful. Um, but again, it makes people creative, and I found a... Um, words again. I found a tutorial on YouTube here that um, somebody made where they showed how they created octagonal rooms and they looked really really good so I was like okay you know I've never done these before but let's give this a try and see what I can make of this. Um, so we have this here with the roof which I've never done before um, but it works out pretty well and I think it looks really awesome. And then we will also have the octagonal roofs which end up looking in my opinion really 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 good. Um, maybe not everybody will like it but I think it looks amazing so yeah, um, this is basically the shape of the house um, at the front from what we had for the picture. It's, you know, it's not too... Um, how can I say this? It's a quite simple build, but yet not too simple. I don't know what I'm saying, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. Um, so I'm messing around with the different... Um, I think they call them freezers. And there's a train going by. I don't know if the mic will pick up on that. I hope not, but it's really loud. It's one of those not passenger trains, but like cargo trains. They end up being really loud, typically. And it seems to be really long. So I really hope that the microphone doesn't pick up on that. Otherwise, I'll have to try to edit that out. Um, but anyways, yeah, here we are um, putting a lot of greenery plants on the walls. Um, this was also in a picture and I've wanted to do this for a while but I never know how to make it work but now that we had a picture that had it on it I was like okay I need to do this there's no excuse for this I have to do this. Um, so yeah I put it in and I will continue it around the side as well so I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, as I said, messing around with some of these freezers, which I think looks really good. And it fits the style. And then I'm just trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the rest of the shape. Um, so, you know, I just started making it a box and it's like, okay, change it. Um, keeping in mind the roof that we had. Um, so that, you know, roofing is already not the easiest thing in the game. So just, you know, making sure that I could make the roof work in this particular situation. So, you know, continuing on the same shape of the roof that we had here on the side to the back. Um, and you all see me just messing around with the roof because, you know, one of the reasons I do a lot of modern builds is because roofing and 
the game can be really really painful um that sounds awful but it kind of is painful um i'm very very jealous if you're one of those people that can just do thing in the game i'm very jealous of you um just saying you know so here we have another one of these roofs which ends up being flat i don't know instead of a normal peak yes i know how to explain what i'm doing very very well i'm not rambling at all either um Anyways, did you guys hear that there was not going to be any Sims announcements at Gamescom? Because I'm so... I'm actually really disappointed by this. Um, and here, stop messing around with the roof. Um, there was actually a cut there. I should have made a bit of a black screen there, but I didn't. Hold up. So I will first explain this. So here I'm doing this roof um, from the tutorial that I found on YouTube. Um, the thing is, for this I kind of needed sort of, in a way, equal sides, so everything needed to be too wide. So not visually equal, but actual equal in terms of size in game, like tile size. Um, so I changed that off camera, because I figured making you look at it wouldn't be interesting. So this is basically how I did the roofs. Um, I will, if I remember, Hopefully I will put a description, uh, put a link in the description to this tutorial because when I posted this on Facebook, um, because you know, I made this because somebody asked, um, there were a few people asking about how I did the roof. So in case you were, you're wondering, I will put a link in the description. If I forget, let me know in the comments um, and I will put it in anyways. So, you know, this is one of those things. It's so... I think it looks really, really good. I would have never thought of doing this myself. So, myself. Um, so yeah, if you want to know how to do this and do it yourself, then check the description for a link on how to do that. Um, anyways, as I was saying, the games content, games con, con, games con with an N wide. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm so frustrated that we were not going to get any um, Sims announcements. I was really expecting an announcement for a new expansion pack, but I guess it's not happening. Um, I don't know. I'm at this point where I'm not really sure anymore what to think about The Sims 4. Like, I love the game. I think it looks beautiful like I know that not everybody likes the more cartoonish style and some people like the realism of The Sims 3 but I personally think that this game and the style of the game is absolutely beautiful um, my favorite so far definitely without a doubt um, but the game has been out for almost two years now and we've only had two expansion packs that's the least amount of expansion packs that we've had in this amount of time ever in a game i think i don't think that's like normally we would get an expansion pack every half year or so and um, with usually a bit of a delay for the first one because you know just being a new game and probably some bugs that they have to work out and all that but i'm actually really i don't know i'm kind of <laughs> not wanting to think about it because it's very confusing to me and i don't know why we don't get a new expansion pack anytime soon because I mean I'm assuming that if there was going to be a new expansion pack soon that we would get an announcement like Gamescom because that would make sense but for there not to be any kind of announcement at Gamescom makes me just wonder what's happening with the game um, I don't mind getting a lot of stuff packs I like getting a lot of stuff packs because because we just with if there's no expansion packs we need other stuff and that will be released in another way and I guess because there's no saw that will be stuff packs so that's fine because the value of the stuff packs has been really good compared to previous games like if you look at the Sims 3 especially um, the stuff packs were really expensive for what we got um, but I don't know I need to, like personally I don't play the game too much because I just don't care enough I love building but we need more expansion packs for the gameplay to really be what it deserves to be, I guess. Like, I feel... I see so much potential for this game and it's just not there yet. Um, 
anyways back to the build so i built this little um thingy in the back of the house where we have um the 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 swellises i think that's what it's called i'm not sure about that and i'm putting again some more greenery around the place as i said and here i am building a little fountain waterfall thingy <laughs> yes so the person that asked people to build this um, was like hey could somebody build me this with like an, a waterfall in a place for my sense to do some gardening and all that oh so i was like okay i can do that um so i wanted to put a pool next to the uh, fountain on the or next to the pool i suppose on the foundation but that doesn't work. I forgot about that. It doesn't work. Um, so I was like, okay, okay, hold on. Um, I will figure out another way to do this. Um, so instead I just have this mud water bit that is blue. Because that was the best way for me to fix it. Um, but I think it's okay. I think it looks really good anyways. Um, and here I go putting a lot of rocks around it. Um, I will leave part of this in and then there will be a cut because Placing rocks in this game can be really frustrating at times. Um, I always forget to use the kind of the rock tables and chairs that we got with the outdoor retreat pack. That would make it so much easier, but I always, always forget. Um, so I use the gardening stones and just size them up. Um, but yeah, there's um, stones going in. Yay. And more stones. Look at this. This is very interesting. Right? And my commentary is just amazing i'm not tired at all <laughs> um no i'm always tired that's a bad excuse but yeah so there will be a cut right here um and there's more rocks so you know um i figured let's cut this and then yeah um so i'm putting in some water plants and i wanted to put in this fork from the new stuff pack but the girl that has for this to be built that it doesn't have the new stuff back there were a few stuff back she doesn't have um do i still have it here yeah i do so she didn't have the spooky stuff back the movie hangout one the kids room one and the backyard stuff back so those are not in this build the rest probably is maybe not i'm not sure um but quite a bit of it will be at least. So if you don't have these stuff packs that you didn't have, you should still be fine with downloading this. Um, also, this is a two-part build. I don't know if I said that. If I haven't said that, you could have seen it in the title, so it should be fine anyways. But um, yeah, this is a two-part build because otherwise it would be a very long video. Um, especially furnishing usually takes a lot, quite a while. And, you know, this is something different for me, so building it also takes a little bit longer than it usually would. And I was doing a lot of landscaping as well in this build. I just, in this part, I basically finished the entire outside, so the build itself, um, there was another cut because I placed more rocks. <laughs> so the entire outside is finished, including landscaping and, like, outdoor kind of living areas, so a table and just... A place to sit and hang out. Um, so you know the outside at least is finished at this part. Um, I have completely finished the build so if you don't want to wait for the next part and download this build anyways there should be a link in the description. Um, there will be one for the unfinished version as I will be at the end of this video because I uploaded it when I finished that and I came back to it another day so I was like you know if somebody else wants to finish it they can also do it themselves um, so there will be an unfurnished version in case you might want to finish it yourself and there will be a furnished download link too um, because I like helping people out and giving people some opportunity to do things themselves if they would want to sometimes if I remember which is usually only if I do multi-part um, speed builds. Anyways, um, doing lots and lots of landscaping, um, lots of flowers and things, putting in a couch thingy here on the front porch. Um, I don't think I put too much on the front porch. I wanted to put in more but at the same time I didn't. 
if that makes sense. Um, I didn't want it to be too cluttered. I wanted to put in some things, but... Oh, okay, that was a big yawn. Um, I wanted to put in some more things, but I kind of just didn't, I suppose. <laughs> um, that doesn't make any sense, but yeah. Um, but here I am, starting out on the backyard area. Um, so I saw this thing somewhere, I don't know where, it might have been just in the gallery, but somebody made kind of a greenhouse with these, um, I don't know, sculpture-y thingies from the get-together pack. And I really liked how this looked with the glass thingy, but then having the, um, the wooden trellises next to it. And I wanted to use that as well, but instead of making this the greenhouse part, I made this um, kind of a sitting area part. I made it a bit smaller and put in some wood flooring, kind of as a floating, like fake floating floor for your sims to have their um, furniture on. You have a table underneath there and then we will put a couch and some chairs right there at the end next to the waterfall so you can enjoy, I don't know, listening to the waterfall and just looking at the water flow. Um, don't know how the water works, but it probably does in some way. Um, so I put in these um, planter boxes a little bit randomly in this kind of really playful way because I didn't want it to be too structured, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know why, I just wasn't feeling it for this particular build. Um, putting some more seats over here on the, out, uh, on the back deck and then putting in some plants because even though we're outside, more plants are always a good thing. Um, <laughs> putting in some lights as well, because you know, you don't want it to be too dark at night time. Using some of the plants from the Dine Out pack, which I think looks great. Um, and then I think mostly it's just more um, landscaping. So in the next part, before I started um, recording the next part, I did the um, layout, so you won't see that on in the next video because looking at me trying to figure out the layout is not the most interesting thing, and I wouldn't know what to say when I do so. So um, it's just very simple. Um, it will end up having three bedrooms and two bathrooms, and I think they actually look really good as well. So again, if you don't want to wait for the next video, which I think it will be out Tuesday if you're watching this when this comes out. Um, then you can download it and look at everything there. Or check Facebook because there's pictures, uh, screenshots. So yeah. Um, but that's pretty much the entire video already. Um, I'm just going around trying to figure out some more kind of small decorations. Um, I wish I could have used the backyard stuff pack but since this girl didn't have it, it didn't really work. But yeah, as always, let me know down in the comments if you want to see me build something. Check the description for the download. And that's it. So I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.